Hey, this is Evan with Octane Electrons. I'm going to do a video here on my so 1971 Moto Guzzi Ambassador 750. So we're going to look over this bike. Um, I'm putting the video up. I may be selling this bike. I'm honestly not sure I really like it and uh, may keep it, but we're going to do a video showing it anyways. And if I put it up for sale, you will see this in my ad. Um, so this is a pretty unique bike. It's a 71 Ambassador 750, like I said, with a lot of unique parts on it and kind of an interesting bagger build. So I bought it off of a lady here in Colorado that her dad owned it for years and years and rode it tons. Um, has 65,000 miles or so on it. Um, and it has uh, probably done long ago. Actually, no, I have the receipt for it. So it was like in the 90s. Has uh, the iron uh, liners in the cylinders so no chrome bores um that's all been solved years ago motor runs great um done a ton of work to it to get it back on the road it had been sitting for god knows how long um has full set of wixom uh touring setup with the the wixom bags on the rear like a harley solo saddle and pin pillion uh, seat um wixom i think a ranger fairing or maybe Maybe the Ranger was a different one, but Wixom fairing with the headlight and turn signals in it. Um, good tires, good clutch, good brakes. Had everything apart to check this bike out, um, but tons of work done. I resealed the motor, all new gaskets everywhere, and go figure, it still leaks some oil, so still chasing down oil leaks on it. Um, I plan on, if I keep this thing long term, I'd probably rewire the whole thing. I fixed all the wiring problems. Um, but it's some old wiring and it, I don't think there's any problem now, but it's not pretty, um, to be honest. So, um, but certainly works fine. The charging system was bad. The generator, uh, had burned up and that Bosch generator is not cheap. Um, so after replacing the regulator and fixing the generator, I got it working for a little bit and then it died again. So ended up putting together, nobody sells the kit anymore, but I pieced together the parts for a, um, Kubota tractor alternator conversion. So now it has a killer, what is that, like 400 watt charging system that charges at idle perfectly. Um, so you can see the bracket with the Kubota there. And I have the generator and mount and all that stuff can come with the bike if I sell it. Um, it has a Harley control swap, which is interesting. We'll look at that in a second. The bike was all painted black. You know, these were usually black or white with pinstriping. This bike's been painted gloss black with goozy stickers like under the clear coat and it's pretty well done i mean the paint's clearly older and plenty of scrapes and dings and stuff but it looks looks cool side covers were done really interesting you can see like a oh like a template was made and then gold paint on them um uh oh sorry one sec here my uh <laughs> let me take this off my gimbal mount it disconnected somehow that's okay all right, we'll keep recording in my hand. Okay, so tank's in decent shape. It's had this rack, um, like studs welded and the rack put on it, which is interesting. Not It was well done. Um, original gas cap. There is some rust in the tank. No way around that. I did not want to coat it because it's not horrendous, but I cleaned it. Um, out quite a bit, got all the rust out of it, cleaned the fuel taps, and I haven't had any further problems, but, you know, it, there's certainly still rust in there. Um, but none through, and it's not horrible, it could easily be completely fixed. 65,000 miles, um, had to replace the key. The old key was broken in half, so it's got a new key from MG Cycle on it. You can see the Wixom tag in there. Has Harley Evo controls handlebar switches and throttle on it um had a that was never finished it was partially swapped when i bought it so had a hell of a time figuring out cables to work to made up with the vhb carbs and the um brake and clutch but i got that all sorted so it works pretty well um got an original airbox back there here's our carbs carbs have been cleaned and rebuilt um, clearly still dripping a little bit of fuel. It's got all new gaskets and seals, but you know, this bike's fairly old and was ridden a lot. So I cleaned everything up and resealed it, but it's, I don't want to imply it's perfect. It's far from that, but it's a great rider. Um, has these like Excel cables on it, footboards, heel toe shift. Um, 
The tool cases are there. You can see some of the wiring back there. Um, let's go look around it a little more. Fairing's in nice shape. Lights are nice. Fender's in nice shape. Resealed, um, <coughs> pulled the uh, belt cover and the um, front timing cover, resealed all of that, resealed the uh, oil pan, and yeah, everything. I was trying to combat a ton of oil leaks, and everything's real nice now, except I still have a drip underneath, and I haven't tracked it down yet. I have a feeling it's it's not the oil pan. I have a feeling it's coming from the little drip hole in the bell housing area, so it could be a rear main seal or something. It's not horrendous, but like it certainly leaks, so, um, so we'll see. Not hurting the bike right now, but um, it's an obvious oil leak. Uh, rebuilt the distributor. Everything's new inside there. All the advanced springs, um, points, condenser, you name it. Um, reused these old Excel wires because they were nice. They're dirty, <laughs> like greasy or something. Well, they're not greasy. I cleaned them, but they have like staining on them. I don't know. Um, works well. Original coil uh, is just fine. Um, changed all the fluids. It's got, I think... I'm thinking these are changed out. These are not original pipes. I've had a couple ambassadors. I just don't remember. I think the header pipes are original, but um, I have a feeling those mufflers are not. But I don't recall. Original tail light setup. Um, lights in the Wixom bags, which is cool. Um, I don't love this, but I got it to reseal the the. Uh, what do you call it? The fill plug on the rear axle, rear hub is uh, stripped. And I sealed it up with Teflon tape and all, and um, it needs to be retapped and all. But um, but it's sealed up fine. It hasn't leaked a drop since I've done it, so I'm not mega concerned. But I probably wouldn't take it on a trip where a super heavy rain or something is likely without fixing that. Um, so yeah, still has work to do. Not a perfect bike by any means, but this thing was a rider and saw a lot of miles, and it's cool to get it back on the road. Okay, let's go ahead and fire it up. So I don't have the chokes on. We'll see. There we go. So that's a totally cold start. Haven't started it in a week, probably. Um, but yeah, ignition set, valves are set, and man, it just purrs. It runs great. Really nice old goozy. I, I just love it. So, you know, good chance I won't actually sell this. This one will be too fun to keep cleaning up and making better and better. But who knows, I'm always on to other projects. I have these two bikes ready to sell, the old Water Buffalo and the Ironhead Sportster. I'm building a shovelhead chopper, so, you know, gotta sell stuff sometimes to fund the next projects. So we'll see, if you see it for sale, it's for sale. If not, enjoy the video. I always love Goozies. My newest bike's a 2012 Stelvio, so. I always love these things. So, the high beam works, oil pressure works, um, generator light works, the neutral light does not work, the switch does, but there is a problem in the wiring, neutral light's not working, I have not fixed it yet. I do have the starter wired to um, start in any gear, so it does not require neutral to start. Well, right on. Thanks for checking it out. I hope you like it. I think it's a pretty unique ambassador. So, I'm a fan. Right on. Thanks for watching and see you soon.